like fair. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's not fair, is it? Obviously. Because if Swift was fair, then what would Solo be? Like, overpowered or something? Because if you're having like loads of comms and all these kind of things and that's actually balanced, then what would Solo be? Like, that'd have to be like... I don't even know. So obviously Swift needs to be massively imbalanced for Solo to be closer to be balanced, you see? That's how it has to work. Again, very obvious logic. I saw someone around here. There he is. So only to balance the left acknowledge imbalance and behavior. They do, no behavior. I've actually acknowledged the uh, imbalance in uh, Swift. They've said, they, they've seen the results. Swift uh, have a higher escape rate, blah, blah, blah. Like, they didn't really need to say it, like, look at it. It's kind of obvious, but... No, they know it. Let's push him up. So he dead zones himself, and there we go. That's the best I can do. I still made it. That's not safe, though, so we should be able to get this. That's actually an unsafe pallet, and we can get it as a mouse one. We need to wait out dead hard, though. Yeah, you can, I like, the unsafe pallets, I door break. I, I can see. That one's safe, though, the other one. I don't think we can make that, so I'm not gonna bother. We'll just go over here. Oh, you can't play this game so well. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that. It makes sense. I can. I have zero problem with it. I've carried really, really bad plays many, many times on this game. But yeah, if you've played Swift and then you go to solo, it'd be like night and day, right? It'd be hard, it'd be hard to get used to that. Is that his scratch, scratch marks? It is. So it's only imbalance is communication. No, no, it's more. Even without communication, they can synergize perks. Uh, and they also know each other's playstyles and strengths and weaknesses. So it's even more than that. Comms is a big one, but... Oops. Comms is a big one, but no, no. It, like, they don't need comms and they still have advantage over solos. Also, they can negate the, uh... The biggest balance factor of DVD, which is bad matchmaking. They can negate that. And make the matchmaking horrific by just joining with everyone who's really good at the game. You see? They, they cause a lot of issues. But, yeah. Oh, nice. I think she might have committed. She didn't, did she? Oh, uh, I'm not fucking bothering. It's got no mind game, that fucking loop. It's so annoying when they're good. Maybe if I use this, I can fucking get her. If they stand at a certain spot, they can just uh, vault that window on reaction. You can't fuck all about it. It's so uninteresting. <laughs> it's so uninteresting. How did that not hit you? Which is good. If I make sense, that's why she could do the, uh, you know, the bullshit vault at that pallet. Uh, the bullshit vault at the, um, killer shack. Oh, so it's all the problem of the devs are the problem. I mean, it's the same thing. Smarter devs would have addressed the imbalance of Swift by now. Mm-hmm. Oof. Ah! Wore right into it, lad, didn't you? Wore right into it. How would I play against the killer in solos? 
there's no one way. You just have to kind of work out what's going on in the match and, and play around it. Someone ran over here. As you notice, I don't uh, remember hook states anymore. Um, because, yeah, I just can't be asked. I can win more consistently if I remember all the hook states, but... Oh, what? Well, wait. Good duck. Not good duck. Pop. Still doing the North Pole thing. Yeah, for the most part, it's more fun. The only issue is when you go against a strong Swift, you're pretty much gonna always lose, but... Sometimes even when you're doing that, you lose to them, so fuck it, right? It's just more fun going for chases. I'm good in chase. Like, when I can actually get the survivor, I get them, right? For the most part. I, I would say, like, not even exaggerating, out of like a hundred times, if I can actually get the survivor at the loop, 95 times out of a hundred, I'll get them. If I can get them there. I would say it's something drastic like that. If I can't get them there and it's all up to the survivor, then, I mean, that's obviously zero. Can potentially get this if you do that. Nah, she did it right. Very nice. She did it right. If she didn't slide that, I could have got her. Smart. She understands how to play. Regarding, like, pawning noobs and things. I don't know why people are saying pawn all, like, today. Like, little 15-year-olds. Um, but regarding pawning noobs... What the hell? Why does that go through her when she slides? Um... People can't tell the difference between good and bad, so when people talk about if someone's good and bad, I really don't pay attention to it at this point. The fuck? Because people really can't tell. They legit think 360s work. You know? Like, they see, like, content creators 360 and a killer, like, back to back to back, and think they're watching, like, high-level play. Like... Uh, you obviously don't know, like, what people playing well is, right? Uh, the majority. So, what are them hitboxes? No idea, man. It's crazy. These were quite solid players. Uh, I don't know why she rage quit. But these are quite solid players. This was a, a close game. Uh, the Neo knew exactly how to play Killer Shack pretty much perfectly. Standing in the exact perfect spot you need to. Um, he played that hill really well versus Corrupt. Uh, I'd say the weakest was one of the uh, re uh, Renatos. Like, at that uh, LT, he didn't even try and, like, bait or fast vault or anything. That was probably the weakest player. <laughs> How the game's going? Chill, man. We went against uh, a skull merch. It was hilarious. It was really funny. I want to go against another because I have a feeling I know what to do already. The whole trick with Skull Merchant is to get on it ASAP before she creates her uh, her free gen. And when she does create a free gen... Okay. When she does create a free gen, um, to commit quite heavily uh, and force her to go into kind of bad situations. Like, one thing with the killer, what people don't realize, is even if she just holds forward, and you just hold forward, and then she hits you, and then you hold forward, and then she holds forward, and then she hits you, and then she picks you up and she puts you on a hook. With two people on her gen, you've almost finished your gen. So, if you can force a chase, which isn't even skillful at all, two people can finish a gen. For a minigame. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing a massive hole in it. Just from that one game, I can see what I think that you need to do. But I do need the other three teammates to think the same. That's the issue. If I had a Swift, for example, uh, and I told you we'll do this strategy, you'd see what I mean. Um 
It'd be very, very hard for her to deal with. Very, very hard. Uh, Maybe impossible. But as a soul, I'm kind of relying on them to understand what I've kind of worked out in that first game. Appreciate it, um, Ivor. Yeah, the win streaks as well. Like, to get win streaks in this game, you have to play in certain ways what you don't need to play, like, versus solo. Uh, which is a bit of a problem, too. Digits top left corner are wins, draws, and losses. Just randomly grab them because when I was doing strategies, I pretty much got near enough 100% wins. When I'm not using strategy, I'm uh, it's more um, more up and down. You were the chill one. By circle holding that uh, circle healing that game, you wouldn't win. That game, we wouldn't know because I didn't know what I was doing at the start. She got way too much momentum on me. Uh, a win for survivor is an escape, and a win for killer is a free kill. A uh, free kill shouldn't be though. It should be about you know hooks and chases and stuff, because survivors escaping don't actually escape, so it doesn't make sense to me. Who are the Skull Merchant you need to put three drones by three different gens and keep one for chase so you can be undetectable in Ellips? Um, to an extent, to an extent you could do it that way. Oh, wow, she, she's very salty. I, th I think uh, this person's going to trip up. They think that they were cleansing all the time, but I actually had the thing what gives me my power. So I want to see if they trip up. Or don't elaborate. Be like a Twitter person who says something and then just leaves. Oh no, she's here. Maybe they're gonna say. Let's see. Ah, what do you want to? For a school merchant, why can't you interact sometimes with drones? Yeah. Captain, I, I didn't know I that. Made it to the big league stoops, hypers, stoops, hypers. Uh, that's awesome, Luna. Um, when the drone sees you for uh, like the first time, you need to go out of its radius, and then you need to wait for it to go down, and then you can get it. It doesn't seem like ten seconds either. The crystal knocks someone, and the first thing he does is cleansing. If she didn't DC, maybe they could have won as well. That DC was the uh, the biggest impact. But the two times you got what on it wasn't from your add-on. Hmm, maybe I can't remember.
Let's see a killer and build of your choice. Hopefully one that makes you chuckle from your belly and puts the losers of the world in a big Sunday sulk. Um, sure thing, one Let me grab that. I'll, I'll check this artist build as well. And get rid of that. Plague. Okay, we've got the Dwight as well. Um, anyway, GG. Can't wait to talk about the fridges. 